Alright, so I'm just going to create a polygon plane. Bring it up a bit. And let's give it 10 divisions. Something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a little trick here with, uh, let's go ahead and divide this edge up. But let's not use the insert edge loop tool, nor will we use the split polygon tool. I I'll use them to demonstrate in examples, but we're going to use uh, something entirely different here to create this, uh, these splits here. So let's go ahead and get started here. So to create an equal split, I'm going to go into edge mode and select one or two of these edges. And I'm going to control right click, edge ring utilities, two edge ring and split. And you'll see we've got an equal uh, equal distance split through the middle here. Now, let's say that I would like to have, instead of just one split, let's say I want to have uh, ba basically two divisions. So I'm just going to, with the, my current selection, I've not done anything. My current selection, I'm just going to shift, right click, go to bevel, and change the offset to 0.33. Now I've got uh, basically the equivalent of doing something such as, well, I'll show you in a minute the difference. And go to the second section here, and let's, let's have four or three divisions here. So let's see if we can do more. Control, right click, edge ring utilities, two edge ring and split. Now I'm going to control, right click, edge loop utilities, two edge loop and duplicate. Now we've got three uh, divisions here, but basically four rows of, or f four face loops going on. So that's kind of nice. And just select a face loop, you can select one face and double click and see we've got our face loop there. So very neat. Um, now, can you go higher? Yes, you can even go up to eight. Let's see how that works. I'm going to control right click, edge ring utilities, two edge ring and split. Control right click, two edge loop utilities, edge loop and duplicate. Hit G to actually repeat that command. Select that edge over there, edge ring utilities, two edge ring and split, and then select that edge, hit G again. And you see that I've got seven divisions here, or basically eight loops of faces. Now, all of these uh, complex uh, divisions here can be achieved using the insert edge loop tool. So I'm going to go into the, uh, let's see, the tool settings for that. So the insert edge loop tool, the tool settings. Uh, you'll see the auto completes on by default, so I'm going to say multiple edge loops. And I can just click on any one of these edges, and it'll go through the entire edge, uh, the entire edge ring here and split them. Now that's neat but uh, you can also say something such as autocomplete and this is where it gets a bit more handy so I can select those particular ones there and just do that and then press enter. And in this case if you had particular edges you want to just split then that would work great turning off autocomplete. Um, but I, pr I typically don't use this tool for, for that or well, for this situation there I do but not for these situations. I use my little right click uh, control right click uh, tricks here that I've just showed you. Uh, the insert edge loop tool, insert edge loop tool comes uh, in handy when you're, let's say you're going to create a cube here, so I'm create a cube, and we're going to hit the three button to smooth it, and I'm going to bring up the insert edge loop tool, make sure my settings are reset, so default settings, I'm just going to add some divisions there. This tool is very handy for things like this, when you're trying to smooth an object and you're getting your your edges trying to increase the definition in those edges there. Now, this example is just, you know, it's an example, so I'm going to increase the divisions there by pressing page up. Now, it's really great for that sort of thing, but uh, f for this, I tend to use the control right click uh, tricks I've shown you because I don't like to change the settings of my insert edge loop, insert edge loop tool, but of course you can, you know, feel free to use that, um, and in some cases you will need to, so for example, that right there, you'll need to use it for that. But if you just want to have some, a quick split to the middle, there you go. If you want to have uh, two splits to the middle, that, and also, I did a shift in right mouse, and then 0.33. Uh, let's go into backspace a bit. Also, if you want to have three of them, I'm going to do control, right click, that, and then control, right click, that. And there you go. Now, take a look. As I do this, you might be thinking, well, this is so slow. I can just use the control. I can just use the insert edge loop, edge loop tool. And you can, but I'm going to show you. This actually can be pretty fast. So let's delete our history on our object by pressing shift, alt, d, and select this particular edge right here and I'm going to uh, I've already shown you the, the tricks here so I'm just going to go through this real quick once you get once you get uh, used to this you'll better do it like this control right click that again hit G select this one that again that again there you go so you can create seven identical divisions very fast once you get used to this so uh, again the tricks here are basically control right click edge ring utilities two edge ring and split and also there's edge loop utilities edge loop and duplicate as, as well as using your shift right click and bevel. You use those three tools, those three uh, commands, and you can get some complex uh, insertions of uh, edges here without really having to change the settings of your insert edge loop tool nor having to use a split polygon tool. Again, those tools are great, but 
um, you may find in some cases that the method I've shown you is actually a bit faster. So hopefully that'll be helpful.